today's video, I'm going to be showing you a very powerful play from the gun split slot formation. And to run this play, you want to have your best wide receiver on the right-hand side of the screen, uh, and you want to have your fastest receiver on your left side of the screen. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, uh, my channel is devoted to helping you get better at this game of Madden. I do that through posting four different videos every single day on YouTube that are designed to give you some type of practical tangible tip strategy or concept that you can apply to your own game in Madden NFL 21. So if that's something that interests you, if you want to get better at this game, I want to encourage you right now to click that subscribe button. All right, guys, real quick video here. Wanted to talk about a play that I found out of the split slot in the Arizona playbook. Now this play does really, really good against the meta man-to-man -man coverage. The idea that we're going to basically shade coverage over top and outside this formation does a really really good job against uh, or um, well with it now there's really no adjustments that i do i love these little this little underneath mesh right here to the backs i actually really like shepherd's route uh, if you wanted to what i would do the only other thing i would do is maybe maybe take shepherd and put him on a slant uh, or take about uh, Scantling and put him on a slant. But this is a very, very good play stock. There's really no adjustments needed. Now, these two running backs are oftentimes going to come open against man-to-man -man coverage. Um, they're going to cross. They're going to mesh. And one of these two running backs, I find very consistently o open up against man-to-man -man coverage, if not both of them, for a little quick gains, a little quick three, a little quick four. Um, these, these running backs will get open against man-to-man -man coverage. And oftentimes, I find they both get open and also... Though most of the time the user is using these one of these two re players and he will not run with them he will jump to the in route almost every single time and so if he jumps to the in route these routes will get open these routes get open against man against zone these are really really solid underneath routes this year in my opinion now the key to this play and the reason i wanted to do this video is this route to Devonte adams that big powerful post route what you'll see on this route once he cuts to the inside of the defense, he gets so deep and gets so open, he beats the cover two man over the top. There's not very many routes in the game that will beat cover two man over the top with the deep blue safeties. But you see here, this post route from Devontae Adams, if you have time in the pocket, and there Aaron Rodgers makes a little bit of a bad throw, if you have time in the pocket, which ignore the sheds right now for practice mode, uh, because practice mode does have some crazy sheds, what you'll see is, Literally, this route is going to torch man-to-man -to -man over the top of the play defense for a one-play touchdown, and it's going to torch cover to man. You better believe it's going to torch the meta man-to-man -man coverage. So if I go down and I man align, shade coverage outside, shade coverage up, throw the purples out there. This is the meta man coverage that everybody's running and everybody's been running all year long. If you, if you get this look, you're lobbing this ball up, finish your throw by holding that up pass lead a little bit after you throw it, and you are going to torch the meta man-to-man -man coverage for a one-play touchdown against cover two man. This play is phenomenal against man-to-man -man coverage. And again, if they go zone, one of these two little in routes are going to be open. The post route actually beats a lot of zones as well. Um, if they run, if they run like Tampa two, this is still going to torch it. A lot of times, the uh, the user is going to be using that middle deep third, and so they oftentimes forget about this route. And you're going to see, you're going to throw so many touchdowns on this play. I promise you that this play is a freaking amazing. Put your best wide receiver there. But anyways, guys, real quick before I take off, I want to talk to you about my texting membership. All you have to do is send a text message to my cell phone. My number's in the top left hand corner of the screen right now. And just let me know that you want to sign up. But basically, once a week, it's only one time a week, so I don't, it's not, not spamming, not any of that. One time every single week, I'm going to send you a YouTube link that is going to have a privated video that I have made exclusively for my texting members. So I'm not going to release it to the public. And it's going to go in depth on some type of pro concept or meta concept that is going on in Madden 21. It's basically going to be a weekly update. Uh, high level what has changed in the game this week so if you want to get access to that tip of the week you can just shoot me a text thank you so much for your time and we will see you guys on tonight's live stream if you haven't already picked up the arizona cardinals offensive ebook these are the type of plays that you're going to be able to get access to these are the type of uh, just route killers and just man-to-man -man beaters that i have in there and you can pick that up it's my madden 21 uh competitors guide which is in the link in the description of today's video so i want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video and we will see you on stream tonight